I'm Lily Almond, like the North. I don't need to stop saying that. It's so embarrassing. But I can't help it now. I say it so often. Oh, um, I'm like not. I am born and raised in Liverpool. Woo-hoo. And um, I'm a singer songwriter. I wish I was doing that for a career all the time. I'm not, unfortunately. But you will be I soon. will be one day. You will be very that soon. Is the goal. You will be soon. You've got <laughs> some amazing releases as well. Thank if you, you want to tell everybody where you can find those. Yeah, um, so I've just released uh, my EP, debut EP, uh, called Solstice. Uh, four tracks. I'm really proud of them. And you can find that on all streamer platforms, Spotify. The videos for them are super good as well. Like, this is how cool this girl's music is. I got into my girlfriend's car one day and there was a song blast and I was like, this sounds like Lil Almond, like this sounds like my friend. And we, I looked at the thing on the little car yeah. and it came up, your song and your name. And I was like, it oh, bloody is her. That's and amazing. I was like, no way, I love this song. Honestly, I always listen to this. That's me, my day. So I it gets that. around. <laughs> Scream my name, but not too loud to wake the dead You're insane, say the voice is in my head You look beautiful as you're lying on the bed In this room of black and red What's been like uh, your musical inspirations when it comes to writing and releasing and um, even performing? Oh, well, um, in terms of music, I grew up uh, listen to all kinds. My mum and dad have both like similar but different sort of music tastes. My mum listens to like a lot of Fleetwood Mac and things like that. Are they musicians themselves? Or They're just, not. No, no. My, my dad. My dad sings a bit and plays guitar, but just in a spare time. My yeah. dad was like a firefighter, so Ooh. like he was just like for fun. Get it. <laughs> but like genuinely, a whole that whole family are really um, musical. Everyone loves music, listens to music constantly. My granddad is like, remember when I was little, like just constantly playing music like it got a bit irritating do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. it was just always on um and then um yeah so just sort of taking like a lot of different inspirations like loved queen when i was little i had such an obsession with queen just my, the performance my and dad everything. used to like because my mom was yeah. such a charts music girl right. he used to like get me out in the car just me and him would be like this is real music kid yeah and he put on like queen albums and guns yeah. and roses and elvis yeah. so i got like Same. my rock and roll yeah like sort of a history from him yeah, and yeah. then like all the charts music from my mum. Yeah, absolutely. So same with my dad, like he was really into Queen, but then on the opposite end of the spectrum was really into the Dixie Chicks as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> so get that side yeah. of it and the countryside mm. as well. The country um the country music. So I feel like all of that put together, having such like an eclectic sort of music taste and what I listen to, even now I'm the same, like I feel like I get into the car and um it's like a different vibe every day. Sometimes yeah. R&B, sometimes it's country music, sometimes it's top 40. And I, but I like that about myself that I don't sort of sit in one category and I do try and explore that in my music and not yeah. feel like I'm sitting in a box of like, I feel like a lot of you probably get it yourself and that like a lot of people are like, so what what, what kind of music do you make? And I'm like, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. Because I feel <laughs> like I'm in the, in the sort of, in where I'm at right now, yeah. I'm just seeing organically like what yeah like you out. could write a ballad you could write a rock song you could write a pop song yeah. a love song anything like it doesn't it doesn't put you in a box yeah exactly. especially when you're just getting started with it and you're yeah. finding your feet Find and finding feet. like what works for you and yeah. what maybe is your sound mm-hmm. you shouldn't ever really box yourself off and go yeah. oh i'm a country singer or oh, i'm an r&b singer when you can yeah. you can do both exactly so i like that i feel like there's different elements people tend to like if the air like Paradise, my first single, for instance, is completely different to the music on my EP. There, uh, Paradise is quite sort of like moody and lots of synths and quite rocky. And the new EP, I was in a different time in my life and things were different and my outlook was different. Yeah. So that's come out really it's sort of like all like your emotions life and, and like and, and like yeah. life events and stuff. And Absolutely, it's, it's like you when you grow your music grows with you and it's like evolving just as you are as a human yeah it's so cool yeah what's next for you like what's what's the goal with the music um i'd love to be doing it full time absolutely i think um i just want to carry on writing and releasing music i've got a few little projects that i don't want to say too much about because i feel like it's still too early days to talk about them but maybe maybe a little band project I, my partner's also a singer songwriter and we've been writing together pretty much since we met like since day dot that's incredible. and um, 
it's a really nice sort of like <laughs> That's really, really like, cringy but nice story. That's such a lovely hobby for you two to get involved in and, and like spend time together. Absolutely, and I love telling. I love telling. You'll probably be cringed out, but I love telling everyone this CP is so important to me because it's about that time in my life when I met him for the bit. Not saying he helped me write any of the songs. Or <laughs> I'm not going to give him any. He's not there. giving you no credit, kid. If, if you listen to the to the EP songs, it's all about how I met how I met my partner and him falling in love with him and and sort of being in this new mindset and where I'm going towards and being optimistic about the future where a lot of my first singles were pretty much like stuck in the past they're talking about past mm. heartbreak and things like that that's what I love about this new EP it's looking towards the future and being optimistic and um, so there might be a little might be a few things coming up that we're, we're working on together and um, we've written a few songs as I say but it's very early days With, with the new songs and stuff, like, because they are about such a personal, like, emotional journey, are you feeling, like, vulnerable to, like, share it, or...? Yeah, absolutely. I, like, at, at first, I was just... I took a bit of a break from music just because I was feeling very uninspired for a little while after it my, first, my mm -hmm. first singles come out. So I was like, I don't know what to write about. I was in a job that I hated, and I was just not inspired artistically at all. And then, again, I, I met him, and this whole sort of, like, new world opened, and I was getting loads of, like inspiration and and getting just lo like flooding with different things that i wanted to write about and it just all came back to me so naturally and i was so relieved so i was like i haven't lost it thank yeah. god um so it's like riding a bike though yeah You'll yeah never it forget. is i know i know i was scared for a bit i was like oh my god that's it i was just like three singles and that's it me done but i'm, I'm really happy about but that. even to write three singles like pat yourself on the back that is so like yeah something to be so proud of thank you but yeah i was i was like scared when i was first singing them i was just doing them in like open mics and funny enough the one of the open mics i went to was when i met my partner he was running one and i was going to these open mics like every every couple of weeks and, and he was there and i was singing these songs in front of him that were about him and he had no idea so i thought he had no idea and then a couple of months passed and he was like are these songs about me and i was like <laughs> you're thinking you're so slick thinking, like, I was like mm -hmm. like yeah but and him being like why are you I, so I obsessed with me yeah, literally <laughs> i was like i'm so embarrassed but um, but that was wonderful but i think because i had that it was such like a personal thing then sharing it with other people i was like whoa i don't know if i'm, I'm ready for this but the response has been amazing to them and just singing them amazing. live and things like that i'm glad i had that opportunity before releasing them because people's like feedback on them and and what like people being invested in the story behind them and everything i've been like it's just given me it spared me on to like mm -hmm. really push to release them um like quickly and get them out there to the world kind of so thing. obviously music is the dream it's the goal it's it's the, it's the life it's the moment yeah but if you had to choose another career and music wasn't allowed to be involved what career are you choosing Ooh. well instead of speaking to you before wasn't i was i did me me degrees in acting I was an actor once upon a time. <laughs> She's an actor. <laughs> I don't know how good I was, but um, probably that. Probably it'd definitely be something artistic still. Yeah. So, something creative. Um, I also like working with kids. I do. I do like um, dramas with kids oh, and things yeah, like that. That's so maybe something along them lines. I, I would think. Yeah. That's super super cute. And um, there was something else I was going to ask you. It was right in the tip of my tongue. It's going to do my head, and we'll come back to it anyway. Um, musical unpopular opinions. Have I got any unpopular yeah. opinions? Oh, um, oh, I've probably got loads that I probably shouldn't share. Um, no, share them. Go on. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a fan of. I call it the yodel when singers overly yodel. You know, and they do so many runs that you're like, I don't even know what the melody is anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying that because I can't do runs. As well, so <laughs> I'm a bit bitter. Do you know what I mean? But, um, no, I agree. When so when someone tries to oversing, oversing something, and they don't need to. Yeah, because sometimes the melody is so beautiful on its own that yeah. it doesn't need it. Sometimes I think people are auditioning for you as well when they're singing around you, and yeah. they're like, oh. Yeah, like, yeah, it's okay, yeah. babe. I know you can sing. Yeah. <laughs> I think as well. Oh, the other one. I probably everyone's gonna hate me for this, but I hate techno music with a burn and passion. I just yeah. don't like it. I don't know, like raves where there's like no no words. Well, there's no words. Like, dun, 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 I'm not dun, into dun, that dun, either. Like I need to be singing as well as dancing oh, yeah. on the dance floor. I just, I just don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I want. I like dancing, but I feel like I need some like 
words to like sing along to <laughs> otherwise i'm just like i'm bored and yeah. understimulate it yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and i don't understand how people can, can like get up in the morning and put that on and clean their house to like techno music it's crazy isn't it like it's, put it in the it's headphones genu- and just like it's, vibe. it's frightening to me <laughs> that's so terrifying yeah. it's terrifying yeah. i don't want to know what goes on in those people's brains <laughs> yeah completely. but before i let you go i just want to say i have watched you for about maybe five six years same and mm-hmm. From where you are now to where you were then, even though then you blew my mind, oh, it has been you. like pff, an incline oh. of a different level. And thank I just know that even in the next five years, what you're going to do is going to blow us all out the water. So oh, me so personally, sweet. I am so excited to see what comes for you next. Thank you, Nat. That's lovely. No, you're so welcome. We're just <laughs> I, like little besties in here. I, I, I don't so love. disappoint. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna really to I hope you don't disappoint either. I'm, I'm gonna, looking gonna, forward I'm to really it. So don't disappoint me. <laughs> No, but Lil, thank you so much for coming oh, on today. It's been such a pleasure. Oh, same Come yeah, back again. Lovely. Bring your boyfriend Anytime. too. We'll do. Get him on. Yeah, Get we him will. On <laughs> thank you so much.